Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glorious God. Glorious God. Glorious God. Glorious God. Mada da 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 ba suntali da 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 ba shantali baha. Eka da 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 ba suntali di di bu shabayada. Mariki si da 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 ba shapala da ba suntali yada. Father, Lord, we worship you. Ancient of days, we give you all the glory. Thank you, Lord. Good morning, family. Good afternoon and good evening. Everywhere you're watching me, you are welcome to this live session. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless you. Thank you so much for turning out. Grace, grace, God bless you. Precious one, God bless you. You are welcome. Simon Campbell, God bless you. Bobby English, God bless you. You are welcome. CS, God bless you. C1333, God bless you. Peacemaker, God bless you. Alexi Brown, God bless you. Corey, God bless you. Jacqueline Morrison, God bless you. Mrs. Lindell, God bless you. Lev, God bless you. Stephanie Johnson, God bless you. Reg, God bless you. Kevin, God bless you. Ray of Light, God bless you. Krista Macheri, God bless you. Angie, God bless you. Moi Brod, God bless you. Helen, it's been a while, Helen. Hope you're okay. God bless you. Ken, God bless you. Roland Tiberius, God bless you. God bless everyone joining. Please, if you are just coming in and you are yet to like the video, take a second and just give the video a thumbs up. If you are new here, if this is the first time you're joining our live and you've not yet subscribed to the channel, please take a second and just turn on that subscribe button, touch the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that whenever we are live or there is a release of a prophetic video, you're going to be the first to know. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. This is another moment in the presence of God. Another moment in the presence of God. We give him all the glory. We give him all the adoration. You are great. Ah. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Adadadaba suntali brahan eya kadadadaba shatali yada. There is no one else like you. You are great. And your miracles are great. There is no one else like you. Ah. Menanama suntali yada ha. There is no one else. Like you, lift up your voice and worship God, family. Worship the Alpha and Omega. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory. And the honor, Lord, we lift our hands in worship, and we bless your holy name. You are great, and your miracles are great. Ah, there is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Ah, there is no one else like you, Abba Father. You are the great deliverer. We've come to worship your majesty. 
You are the great deliverer. We are here to worship you, Abba Father. Mare ke de 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 bo sinta la da 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 ba sata libra hande. Ia da 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 ba sunta li da da ba sabra haya. Someone is here and you are asking the Lord. Are you still the God that did miracles in the days of all? Are you still the God that did miracles in the days of our forefathers? What is happening to me? Why is my life like this? The great deliverer is here today to give you your deliverance. Deliverance from every unpleasant situation. Deliverance from every unpleasant situation. Deliverance from every unpleasant situation. You are like God. Why did you let these things happen to me? Why am I going through all of these things? God is here to give you deliverance from every unpleasant situation. You are great. You do miracles so great. Ah, God likes to work in a way that when anyone sees it, they are going to know this is the hand of God. God doesn't want, God doesn't want to work. God doesn't work in secrecy. God works in a way that anyone who sees it will know this is the hand of God. This could only be God. This could only be God. And he's about to intervene in someone's life in that magnitude this morning. He's about to intervene in your life in that way that you are going to know this is God. That the people that are looking at you will know this is God. This is God. So I was asking God, why will you let somebody go through a lot of difficult times? Why will you make us go through a kind of difficult times that we don't know what to say. We don't know what to do. We pray and we pray and things keep getting difficult. And God started, teach, God started teaching me. God started saying that, you know, God used the story of the Israelites in, the, in, the, in Egypt. God said that, that, that there was a promise on the head of the Israelites. There was a promise that was given to Abraham and that was passed down to, to Isaac, to Jacob. And they were supposed to be heading to Canaan land. That is a land flowing with milk and honey. The promise that was on their head was supposed to take them to a land flowing with milk and honey. But because of one thing or the other that we all know, they got trapped in Egypt. They were now, they were not trapped in Egypt. They were now in Egypt and they began to grow and they were so comfortable. And God looked at them and said, but this is not the plan. You were not sent here to come and stay. You were just passing. You were just transiting. This was supposed to be a transition into the promised land but you've gotten so comfortable and so God the Bible says that God always uses the devil is always trying to afflict us the devil is always trying to cause us pain but God who is all wise always uses the devil like a tool to our upliftment God always uses the devil like a tool to our upliftment. The devil can think they are winning because what they wanted for your life is happening. But God is just using that ayanama subayata. God is just using that as a platform to elevate you. God is just using that as a way to take you to where you are naturally supposed to be. And so the Bible says that there arose a pharaoh who did not know Joseph. There arose a pharaoh who did not know Joseph. And they began to inflict pain on the Israelites light. They began to increase their labor. They want to, they, they turned them from kings because they were given a whole city in the land of Egypt. They were given a whole city called the land of Goshen. They began to give, give them stress. They began to make their lives so difficult and God was using that as a means of pushing them towards their land flowing with milk and honey. And God decided, and God saw that the affliction of his children had grown so much and God God went and appeared to their deliverer, Moses, and said, it's time to take my people out of that unpleasant situation. It is time to take my people out of that unpleasant situation. God sent me here this morning as a Moses. God sent me this morning as a Moses to deliver you from every unpleasant situation. Every situation you found yourself and you feel stuck. Every unpleasant 
unpleasant situation, what you did not bargain for, what you did not bargain for, but you see your life going, ah, I was talking to somebody, and the person said they found yourself in a situation. They know this is not where they are supposed to be. They know there is a great prophecy on their heads that is saying that it's going to be better, but it is just difficult to move from this level to another. It is just difficult to move from this level to another. You know, you know in your heart, you have received a prophecy that you're supposed to get married. You have received a prophecy that you're supposed to have a job. You have received a prophecy that you're supposed to be a financial giant. You have received a prophecy that you're supposed to have a stable family, but it is just difficult for you to move from where you are to where that place is. It is so difficult for you to transition. God sent me this morning as a Moses to take you out of that captivity, to take you out of that unpleasant situation, to push you from where you are right now to that place where you are supposed to be. You feel it in your spirit. You know it is time, but there is just a way that you stay in obscurity for so long that it is difficult for you to just move to where you're supposed to be. You need an extra hand of God. There is a way you stay in obscurity for so long that it becomes difficult for you to break forth. It becomes difficult. You might have been somebody that used to succeed easily, but as long as you got into obscurity, you got into a dark patch in your life where things became so difficult for you. It might be so difficult for you to transition to the next place. You need the hand of God. You need the extra hand of God to push you. Please, family, like the video. Give it a thumbs up if you're yet to do that. Thank you so much to everyone that is liking the video. That is online evangelism. And to those that are sharing, God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Keep the thumbs up coming. Keep the sharing going. Hallelujah. You know it. I came this morning for people, you know, they knew, they knew before Joseph, before um, Jacob died. He said, I know you're not going to stay here forever. When you are leaving this place, take my bones to you, uh, take my bones with you whenever you are going. They knew that though they were in Egypt, there was a place where they were headed, but they just felt so comfortable. Sometimes it is obscurity. It's not even comfort. There is a way life has been difficult for you. That it becomes so difficult for you to move to the next level, even though you carry a prophecy on your head even though you carry a prophecy on your head there is a way you've been single you've been single for so long it becomes so difficult for you to even interact yes you want to get married yes you want to have your kids yes you want to give maybe your kids another father but because you have been alone for so long it becomes difficult for you to open up to somebody it becomes difficult for you to open up this morning god is sending that extra hand to push you where you are supposed to be in the name of jesus god is sending that extra hand to push you to where you are supposed to be in the name of Jesus. God is sending that extra hand, that invisible hand to push you out of this place of obscurity into the place of your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are moving. You are moving to that place where God wants you to be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Marat Somebody, you are watching me. You've been confused for so long. Your head is all wrapped up inside. You don't know what to do. You are standing, you've been standing at this juncture of confusion for so long. God is removing you from that place in the mighty name of Jesus. God is delivering you from that place of confusion, from that place of chaos. In your mind, your mind is so chaotic. There is a lot of chaos going, up, going on in your mind. God is taking Taking you out of that place of confusion, out of that chaotic situation, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. And this is for somebody, you are here and you felt a little comfortable in a place, but you were just transition. you are just transitioning, you are just transitioning, but you felt so comfortable and God started making the things to be difficult for you because God is pushing you to your next level. You were just transiting. You know when you're supposed to transit and because maybe 
Maybe where you are transiting seems more comfortable than where you are even going to. You feel more comfortable in that place where you're, where you're transiting because you are more certain about it. You don't even know. Yes, you know that you are going to the UK and maybe, um, let me say you're going to the US and you have to transit some, maybe you're going to Canada, you have to transit around Belgium. I don't know how, how these things work. I've never done taking those flights, so I don't know. And you get to maybe Turkey, Istanbul, and you look at the place. It's so beautiful. You start telling yourself, maybe I should just stay here. I shouldn't continue the journey. I don't even know what is ahead of me. Maybe this place will be better for me than where I am headed to. God, if you are in that place, God sent me for two categories of people this morning. People who have become comfortable in a place of transition. In a place of transition. God sent someone into your life to just help you transit a particular situation. But you've gotten so comfortable you don't want to leave. God has sent me to take you away from that place in the mighty name of Jesus. To lead you to your place of destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. God sent me to take you to that place where you are supposed to be. God is sending me this morning like a midwife like a deliverer, like a Moses, to take you to your place of destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. And another category of people is people who are stuck in their present reality. You know there is more. You know that something is ahead of you. You feel it in your spirit. You feel it like you are about to break forth. You know that this is not your level. You know this place where you are standing, it is not where you are supposed to be. Yes, you are surviving. Yes, you are in a kind of relationship relationship yes things are just moving but you know in your spirit there is more but it's just difficult for you to reach out and get that more the lord sent me for you to today you are leaving that place in the mighty name of jesus you are leaving that place of mediocrity you are leaving out of that place of mediocrity you are reaching out to what god has for you in its entirety in the mighty name of Jesus, you are stuck in your routine. I see somebody who is stuck in your routine. You are stuck in your routine. You keep going from paycheck to paycheck. You are stuck in your routine. You are stuck settling bills. Settling bills and you just keep going from paycheck to paycheck. But that is not how your life is supposed to be. God has given you an extra life of greatness and financial security. God sends me this morning to deliver you and push you to that place of stability. Financial stability. In the mighty name of Jesus. Who are these people I am talking to? Marako Shibalada. Iruka nananama sobra hande ketelia. Somebody, God is coming to give you prophetic direction. You got diverted. Oh, the devil. The devil sent a huge direction, a, a, a huge diversion. Your way to divert you from where you were actually going. From where God had planned for you. God, this morning is a morning of deliverance. It's a morning of, de of deliverance, however you want to call it. It's a morning of deliverance where God is taking you out of th that place to where you are supposed to be. Out of that place where you have been stuck to where you are supposed to be. Out of that place where you have been stuck to where you are supposed to be. God is taking you out of every unpleasant situation. Hey, Ananama Shatayada. God is taking you out of every unpleasant situation. Every unpleasant situation. In the mighty name of Jesus. God will deliver you, Rosemary, today. Out of every unpleasant situation. Grace one way. God is taking you out of every unpleasant situation. Reg. God is taking you out of every unpleasant situation. Oh, j -Love is here. I'm miss you my love god is taking you out of every unpleasant situation in the mighty name of jesus in the kalanama subrahaya every situation god is taking you out by a mighty hand god is taking you out by a mighty hand he's doing it in such a way that everyone who sees it the way god delivered the israelites from egypt when their adversaries came to fight 
when people came to fight them, they will, they will remember because the, the news went abroad. Everyone got to hear that God led them out of Egypt by parting the Red Sea for them. The news went abroad. It got to the knowledge of everyone that it was by a mighty hand that God delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt. And so when they came, when they came to fight them, when they when when when, when they were coming around them, I said the, 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 the people of Jerusalem, Jericho, when they heard that the Israelites wanted to pass through their land, they went and they shut the city gate. For how many days nobody went out, nobody came in. Because the fear of the Israelites was upon them. Why? Because they heard how God delivered them from Egypt. Somebody, God is taking you out of that situation. God is taking, taking you out of that situation by a mighty hand. That everyone who sees it will fear. That everyone who sees it will know that God is involved in this one. God is taking you out of that situation by a mighty hand that everyone will see. God was intentional. God was intentional about that kind of liberation. The Bible says that God hardened the heart of Pharaoh. Pharaoh did not keep the children of Israel willingly. Willingly. God hardened his heart because God wanted the news to go far and wide. Ha! God wanted the, the news to go far and wide. How he rescued his people. And so God started by all this, all those plagues that he sent to them was to defeat all their gods, all the Egyptian gods. All those plagues that, be, that, that fell on the Egyptians, that fell in the land of Egypt, it was a plague to defeat their gods, to render them useless, and to let them know that the Israelites are saving the one true God. Somebody, God is about to show himself in your life in that same dimension. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is taking you out of that unpleasant situation by a mighty hand. God is taking you out of that unpleasant situation by a mighty hand. By a mighty hand. By a mighty hand. Somebody, God says, that family circle of hardship is being broken. I don't know who this person is. God says that family circle of hardship is being broken today. Family circle of hardship. Family. The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 145 and verse 14. He says, the Lord raises all who fall. Hmm, let's, let's get that Psalms. The Lord supports all who fall and raises all who, are, who, all who are bowed down. All who are bowed down. How does this Bible version say? Hmm. The Lord lifts up the fallen. And those bent beneath their loads. I, I, lo I love the way the King James Version puts it. Where's my King James Version Bible? The Lord, ah, Idadaba Superata, everyone that has fallen, you're, you have fallen down in shame. God is lifting you up today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, your, you, your face is bowed down in shame. Psalms 145 verse 14. The Lord, the Lord supports all who fall and raises all who are bowed down. Your head has been bowed down in shame. Your head has been bowed down in defeat. God is here to deliver you by a mighty hand. It's not just an ordinary deliverance. It is going to be by a mighty hand in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, that the news will go far and wide, that God came through for Mrs. Lindell. God delivered Angie. Rosemary went through a mighty deliverance from that uh, unpleasant situation. Daniel Perkins uh, experienced the hand of God like never before. It is going to go far and wide. That God came through for Kairosk. That God delivered Bobby English in a way that no man could. The news is going to spread abroad. That God delivered Korea from that unpleasant situation. That God delivered Stephanie from that unpleasant situation. Situation. God is taking you, Patricia Harris, out of that unpleasant situation by a mighty hand. 
ah left god is taking you out of that unpleasant situation by a mighty hand by a mighty hand receive your deliverance this day in the mighty name of jesus receive your deliverance this day in the mighty name of jesus receive your deliverance somebody you are watching me your life is just a roller coaster you keep rising and falling you keep rising and falling you keep rising and falling god is delivering you from that circle that evil circle in the mighty name of jesus the last time you fell is the last time you're going to fall it's going to be an upward movement from you henceforward in the mighty name of jesus it will be an upward movement from you henceforward in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus the resurrection power is coming upon somebody and is taking you oh the scenario that god is bringing to me is the scenario of the dry bones is coming back to life dry bones are coming back to life ah uh, the resurrection power is hitting you you knew that it's you are in that situation where nothing is working it feels like everything is finished for you. It feels like everything is down. Ah, yeah, yeah. You, you, are, you are desperate. You are desperate. The resurrection power is hitting you. And is bringing life again into you. And is bringing life. I see the person. You are in despair you are in serious despair and as far as you are concerned it's like it is finished nothing is working nothing ah i saw the light of the resurrection shine upon you powerfully and is bringing life again to you and is bringing life again to you in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name ah god is taking people out of captivity God is taking people out of traps, demonic setups and traps that have kept them caged. God is taking you out of them. God is taking you. Ah, I saw a I saw a prison's gate being opened and people are like I saw a, a gate being opened and people are coming out. I saw a gate open and people are coming out. Some people are coming out carrying a bag. And I am asking, what is that back? But I see precious coins like gold. I see precious coins like gold in a back. Some people are leaving that cage with Ake. I see precious coins like gold. Somebody, I see another person reaching out to you to take you out of that place. I see another person. Ah, is that a kingdom spouse? I see reaching out to you to take you out of that place. Coming and giving you a hand to take you out of that place. I don't know what this is, but God is sending you deliverance. God is sending you deliverance. God is sending you deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is sending you deliverance. God is sending you deliverance. God is showing himself to, some, to a family. I see a mother and I see a child. They are going through the same similar situations. I see a mother and I see a child. They are going through similar situations. God is breaking that that generational issue i don't know what that is but i see a mother and a child that are going through similar situations a mother and a child going through similar situations god is coming to deliver you the deliverance power of god the deliverance power of God. God is taking you out of that unpleasant situation. Emotional wreck. God is taking you out. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every aspect of your life where the devil thought they had, they had caged you. God just opened that gate. You are coming out. 
you are coming out. I set my heart spiritually and I pull you out in the mighty name of Jesus. I sent my hand spiritually and I pull you out in the mighty name of Jesus. Because I still see some people in the, the gate has been opened. People are leaving, but you are still staying there. What are you doing? I send my hand spiritually and I pull you out in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. The Lord says that is mental. Right now, it's mental. And many of us, we are going through that. God has delivered us, but in our mind, we are still in captivity. God has delivered us, but in our mind, we are still in captivity. I send a, a, I send a hand to you. And I pull you out in the mighty name of Jesus. I send my hand and I pull you out in the realms of the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pull you out in the realms of the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pull you out. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pull you out. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus, for your mighty deliverance upon our lives. Thank you, Jesus, for your mighty deliverance. Thank you for taking us out of unpleasant situations. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, Helen says, I felt your hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for taking us out of every unpleasant situation. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Go ahead and begin to thank the Lord for your deliverance. Go ahead and begin to thank the Lord for your deliverance. What you connect to, you collect. Thank the Lord for your deliverance. Let your ten, I always tell us, let your thanksgiving be as intentional as your prayers. Let it be as intense as your, as your prayers. Let your thanksgiving be as intense as your prayers. Thank God, somebody. Thank the Lord, somebody. Father, we thank you for your mighty hand. Thank, the, thank you for your mighty hand. Thank you for taking us out by your mighty hand. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Abba Father, thank you. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. Let's give two minutes. Let's give an op people opportunities to, to give an offering to sow a seed, to connect to the world, whatever the case may be. Let's give people an opportunity to plant their seeds, give an offering. If you want to do that, maybe on PayPal or Cash App, the information is highlighted at the blue bar ahead. If not, you can use um, Super Chat or Super Sticker. Anyone that is convenient, let's give people that opportunity to sow, to give an offering. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. When a hater... When God takes you out of that situation by a mighty hand, when a hater sees you, when a hater, when an adversary want to attack you, they are going to remember how God delivered you and they are going to back off because they are going to become enemies of God. Your enemies are going to become enemies of God. Your enemies are going to become enemies of God. Your enemies are going to become the enemies of God. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. And your miracles are great. Um, six let is praying for spiritual growth. I pray for you, six let. May the Lord increase you in your spiritual life in the mighty name of Jesus. May God increase you in your spiritual life in the mighty name of Jesus. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Adadadaba subrahandi shabali adadabaha. There is no one else like you. You are great. And your miracles are great. 
There is no one else like you. Father Lord, we thank you. There is. Oh, Zinle says, my one-year-old is dancing to your voice. Hallelujah. The IQ, Abba Father, we thank you for what you have done, Lord, <clears throat> and what you will do now. We give you all the praise. All the glory belongs to you for what you have done, Lord. And what you will do now, we give you all the praise. <clears throat> all the glory belongs to you for what you have done, Lord. And what you will do now, we give you all the praise. All the glory belongs to you. Organedo, organedo means thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We are just giving God thanks. If you cannot sow a seed, at least let's give our thanks to God. Let's acknowledge the fact that because I believe the word of God, it has the capacity to do what it says. If God says he is taking you out of unpleasant situations, it's because he wants to do it. It's because he has the capacity to do it. That is why we are thanking him. That is why we are thanking him. That is why we are thanking. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done, Lord, and what you will do now. We give you all the praise. All the glory belongs to you. Thank you, Abba Father. Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus, for what you have done, for taking us out by your mighty hand. Thank you, Lord. And for what you will do, we say thank you. And for those enemies you keep fighting, we say thank you. And for those enemies you keep fighting, we say thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you for the giving of your people. Thank you, Lord, for everyone that has sown a seed, giving an offering on PayPal, Cash App, Super Chat, Super Sticker. Lord, I pray may you bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless their giving. And those that connected for a special prayer point. Oh God, honor their giving. <clears throat> honor their giving in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. I feel so excited in my spirit. I feel so excited in my spirit. Somebody is coming out. Someone is coming out. I feel so excited in my spirit. Contrary, like yesterday... I feel so excited in my spirit. I feel excited. I feel excited. Somebody, when God delivers you, he is taking you into your land of milk and honey, into a place where abundance is going to be abound. Hallelujah. 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 I feel excited. 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 <clears throat> God is taking somebody out of that place and into your land of milk and honey. God bless you all, family. God bless you. I await your testimonies. Yes, Zinle, you are coming out in the mighty name of Jesus. You are coming out in the mighty name of Jesus. You are coming out in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. Let's take our, our, our daily declarations, family. Let's take our daily declarations. Hmm. Mm. Yes, your land flowing with milk and honey. You are getting in. You are getting in. Let's take our daily declarations. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If this was the first time you joined our live session and you are not yet a part of this family, please, before you go, touch the like button, touch the subscribe button and the notification bell so that whenever we are live, you will not miss out. Amen, Kevin. says, thank you for confirmation. Amen. 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 Yes. 
somebody is coming out yes i feel so ex my spirit i feel like i'm jumping in my spirit i feel like i'm jumping in my spirit because somebody is coming out somebody is coming out hallelujah hallelujah thank you abba father thank you family can you imagine we have 175 thumbs up if you are here and you are yet to like the video please can you just go ahead and like the video i would have been happy if we could get to 200 thumbs up but if we cannot it's okay let everyone just like the video if you're yet to do so please give it a thumbs up god bless you god bless you Oof, something keeps coming in my mind and leaving i don't know oh god please remind me thank you go kati thank you <laughs> steven <laughs> i know <laughs> i know thank you I'm coming out song. I can't, there's no song that, that is in my spirit about I'm coming out. Family, please keep giving the video a thumbs up. Give the video a thumbs up, please, family. We should be like 200 thumbs up right now. If you're yet to do that, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please subscribe right now. Subscribe before you leave. God bless you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. All right, I'll check your message. I'll check your message. I'll check your message. Please, guys, let's get to 200 thumbs up. We are just at 15. 15, 15 to 200. I know there are some people, of course. Look at the thumbs up coming. Thank you so much. Thank you, family. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, ho. Oh. Ah, I love you all, family. I've got to go now. I've got to go. God bless you all. God bless you all. Ooh, -hoo. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. Oh, my God. <laughs> I cannot leave you in darkness. No, I must leave you in light before I leave. <laughs> I love you so much, family. Okay. Bye bye, family. I love you all so much. Please, today, I don't, okay, maybe today is still Friday for some people, but please do well to go to church, join an online session. <laughs> If you cannot go to church, please join an online session. I got something to help me before I can get a generator. I told you, left. I'm hoping to get it by the end of this month. But I got something to help me. I got something to help me in the place of that. And thank God, it just, it just served. It just served right now. You see, the Bible says wisdom is profitable to direct. So... <clears throat> the generators that I, I saw were really on a high side. They were on a high side. It's going to require more to get it done. So I decided to get something that can help for now. That can help for now. All right, family, I've got to go. Can you imagine? We are at nine people short of 200 thumbs up. Can you imagine that? Nine. Nine. Amen, Patricia. Amen. 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 Yay. I received that amazing surprise. Thank you all for your prayers. Thank you all to those who are always praying for me. I love you all so much. It's very amazing. I've told you, right? The most times when I feel blessed, the most times when I feel so happy, is when I see somebody send me an email not maybe for a prayer request but just to tell me that god bless you i am praying for you or when somebody sows a seed and what, and what they write on it is this is for god bless you you know prayers for me it gets me all the time thank you so much i think that's what keeps me going that's what brings me here even at odd hours of the night <laughs> i love you all family who are those three prophetic persons to get this video to 
200 thumbs up. Three prophetic people. Amen, Patricia Harris. I received that surprise. I received that surprise. Two more people, and we are at 200 thumbs up. Two more. Two more. Who are those? One more. My goodness. My God. This family. Brianna, you have a new Brianna, you have a new job, or you are praying for a new job. I pray may God grant you a new job in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, all family. We are at 200. You see why I love you guys. You guys are so you're so you're so nice. God bless you all for me. God bless you all. God bless you. Amen. All right, I've got to go now. I have to prepare for service. It's already Sunday. I have to prepare for service. I love you all, family. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.